Hello, Assalamualaikum. Today we will learn how to make underground cable fault detection system. In this system, we are using uh, a microcontroller Arduino Uno and uh, LCD 16 into 2 LCD. And this module, are, uh, this module is for uh, inductive load. Inductive load. And uh, these are three LEDs which will uh, show the power flow in the lines and this uh, combinations of resistors will show the detection of fault uh, on where the fault is occurred the length of fault occurrence place will determined by these uh, resistors in the simulation so we will understand how these uh, resistors are work uh, here are here we have three lines blue line yellow line and red line these are the phases three phases and these combination of resistors are showing that when the when the line is far away from the source or generating station the resistance will be uh, increases when the far uh, how much uh, the transmission line is far from the Generating station, the resistance of the transmission line will increase. So this these resistance will determine the location of the uh, fault occur in the transmission line. When this uh, this button is on, it means only this resistor will uh, occur in the path. When this uh, button is on, then it will show the one kilometer is one kilometer line resistor is added. So now the resistance will become 200. When this uh, line, uh, when this button is on, it means uh, the th three kilometers uh, fault is occurred. It fault may be of short circuit or of uh, ground fault or uh, any other fault occur in the transmission line. When this re this button is on, then these four resistance will be combined in the series so that is the uh, that is the reason uh, to find the location and detect the fault in the underground cable fault underground cable so we now we are uh, writing program which we are uh, uploading in this arduino microcontroller so for program i will give link in the description you can go to the link and uh, copy the program from there so here, here is this is my github now the program file is here underground cable file detection this the extension of this file is dot pdsprj this is the proteus file a simulation file and uh, this file is the arduino program file so now we are require arduino program file so we'll click on it it will open this program now simply copy this program now go to the arduino ide and place here make a file and place here now this is the program now you have to uh, generate a hex file for a hex file generation uh, first uh, click on what microcontroller you are using in the simulation here uh, here we are using Arduino UNO, so click on Arduino UNO, select from here, select other board and write it UNO, it will show Arduino UNO and click it, then click OK. Now go to the file and uh, go to preferences, check the compile option, then click OK. Now we will run this, uh, this sketch, then uh, the out in the output section, the hex file location will be generated run the simulation and the sketch compile it now here you will see the hex file location this is the hex file location just copy this location and uh, now go to the simulation and now double click on the microcontroller and paste the what location we have copied click ok why we require hex file 
because of uh, in the simulation we only require hex file because hex file is generally a binary file in which the program is converted to binary code so in the simulation we only require binary code so that's why we are required a hex file so now we have done all now we just uh, run this is simulation now it is showing welcome to cable file detection system it is showing r is showing for a red line and y is showing in yellow line and b showing blue line and nf is showing no fault nf is showing no fault so now if uh, the fault is occur on the red line on nearest to the uh, nearest to the generation station so when the fault is occur it is uh, 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 it is showing that fault is occur on 1 kilometer on the red line on this line so this is showing then and the buzzer will also buzz in that the this is the a normal condition is occurred and uh, now we will understand how fault is uh, detected now the, the, this is the relays and uh, this is the ground common ground and these lines are grounded to these this line from starting to starting to the uh, from this to going to and going to a zero pin of the microcontroller means the resistance is only occur uh, two resistance one is this 100 R and this is 100 R 200 R is uh, occur in the line uh, and it is showing one kilometer if it is increases and uh, the fault is occur after two kilometer after uh, four resistance it is now showing two kilometer it is showing that, uh, the fault is occur on the red line uh, at two kilometer the he, uh, now the fault is on the two kilometer if the it is occur on the, this on this point it will show three kilometer now the fault is occur it will show on four kilometer in this system will work. if the fault is occur on this on this point blue line it will show it is two kilometer the first point is showing that on one kilometer the second one is showing on two kilometer and third one on three kilometer and fourth one is showing that the fault is occur on the fourth and these patterns and these resistance combinations is only we are in using in the simulation to show the length of the line because the length is increases the resistance will also increase and hence we are reading through microcontroller and uh, make a decision the buzzer is uh, buzzing and this leds is blinking means the system will work if you not understand if, if you have any query if you have any question then uh, ask me in the comment section i will be answer if you get this help uh, this video helpful then like it thank you